Something cool I read is that the Sacred Heart Basilica um, gets its white pearly color because um, the rock, I don't remember if it's marble or what it is, but when rain um, falls on it, it calcifies it. You know, calcium is white, so it's not like it's treated, it's painted or washed. It's actually just the rain um, chemically reacting to whatever the natural rock is, and it gets its color, which is kind of cool, if you ask me. Um, so, fun fact. That is why it gets its color. I, I literally just took five minutes to like compose myself. I turned the camera on and I would have started crying again. Um, if you haven't seen the very first video I think I shared about coming back to vlogging, I believe, or something like that, I talked about how life looks a lot different now <laughs> than it did a year ago. And that statement just keeps on holding truth and uh, it keeps on looking very different than what it did a year ago um, or what I dreamed of it looking a year ago um, and although this is you know a spectacular view and I am soaking it in and praising the Lord um, I wanted to share this word with you because um, never ever do I want to sell you a fake um, photo of fake video, a fake life that everything is rosy dozy and um, God is great, you know, God is merciful and this is an absolute gift but if you personally are in a season where everything feels like chaos and it feels like you're drowning I get it and I'm not crying because I'm sad or sorry, I'm crying because I'm in awe of how God redeems it all. I am in absolute awe. Because his plans are so much better than yours. Oh, okay, compose yourself. Here's the word that I wanted to share with you. I, 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 I let this dry off for nothing. Here's the one I want to share with you. He is walking with you through the valleys, through the darkest of darks, through the worst of worst, through the moments where you feel shattered, through the moments where you feel hopeless and you rather go into heaven already because it hurts so bad. He's with you right now. And if you needed to see this video just to hear that word, he is with you in the valley. And he's also with us when we walk through the valley. We can't skip over it because through it is where our faith is strengthened. You need this season. You need that time of your life where you have to question everything and you have to kind of tear it all down to see what's really there. Test your faith. That's exactly what the Word of God says. Even if for a little while you have to suffer, the testing of your faith produces endurance, it produces perseverance, it grows your faith. So I just encourage you in this season that you're in, if it is not a good season, if it is a season where things feel very bad, you're gonna be all right. Not because you're gonna end up like me in, in the way my life has turned out, but because God, not because, uh, anything about me is is I did anything no 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 I didn't do anything to get myself out of it that is a false mantra that the world says right pick yourself up clean yourself off and keep going keep your head up high it's all about your strength but God says in your weakness he is strong it's not about you honey it is not you brother it isn't about you it is about who he is and who he is in you and who he wants to show you he is in you so if you allow him in the lowest of lows to just show up and allow yourself to see that he's with you he's gonna show up he's gonna strengthen you on the days you think you can't keep going he will be your strength on the days where you feel hopeless, he will be your hope. On the days you just want to throw yourself in bed and cry, he will be your joy and bring you through the valley to the mountaintop. And um, for those coming out of a valley, 
um, this is the word that God has given me recently and I share it with you if, if it's of encouragement grab hold and take it for yourself um, there's there, there are three things that God has been telling me one what is impossible for the Lord who is all-powerful what is impossible nothing is impossible for the Lord he's also been telling me it is impossible to please the Lord without faith that's why you need your faith to be tested and strengthened because if you don't have faith you can't please the Lord that's what his word says you need faith to please the Lord it is impossible to please the Lord without faith so I understand now I didn't uh, eight months ago um that i needed this trial not eight months ago i didn't understand this 10 months ago when my my trial of testing my faith started that i needed it to please the lord i need my faith strengthened because i need faith to please the lord and nothing is impossible for the lord and the last thing where i have literally just been jaw dropped is the verse that says um now to him who is able to do above what we can think, ask, or imagine. To him be the glory. <sighs> above what you can ask, think, or imagine. I asked, I thought, I imagined everything besides what I'm living today. I thought of my future probably 10 years ahead and it did not look like this. Nothing like this. But it's what I'm living is above and beyond what I asked, thought, or imagined. It's good. It's not good. It's better. It's better than what I could have asked the Lord because He knows better. He knows my desires more than I know my own, even if I think I know my own. He knows what I need more than what I know or think that I need. And actually that was the verse that um, when we went to church yesterday at Hillsong um, the pastor started with he shared that verse and it just got me because that's the verse that God has been repeating to me over and over and over the last few months and it just confirmed you are living in in a season where it's above and beyond what you asked thought or imagined and I receive it and that doesn't mean there won't be a valley another valley in my life that doesn't mean that my test won't be tested again that's that's needed it's necessary for your faith it's necessary for your walk with God um, um, why is it easier to believe a good and all-powerful God in the life of someone else but it's really hard to believe it in your own life um, right like you see your friend going through something a trial a test whatever and you're like I know God's gonna do it I know for example God was gonna bring my best friend through the, her bar exam it's easy to see in other people's lives and these these people and that you love and like God is gonna do it like I have zero doubt that God's gonna show up for your life but when you look in the mirror it's so much harder to have faith for your own life I don't know if you've ever experienced that, but that's what I've been experiencing is I see other people I'm like, I know God's gonna do it. I know God's gonna do that in your life, the life of my friends and, and family, and I see it and I, I have zero doubt. But when it comes to myself and I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, how? Like, <laughs> when, who, how, how, what, why? You know, it's so hard when it's about yourself, but that's why your, your faith needs to be strengthened for your own life. So yeah, I share that to uh, hopefully paint a more complete picture um, and not just share highlights and fun. It is, it's been a lot of highlights and fun, but there has been a lot of work that has God has been doing behind the scenes and I'm grateful for it. I am, I am excited for it. And truly, truly, truly when um, this season of my life, I feel is, is at a point where where God says, now you can speak on it, I will. I will speak on it when he says it's time because I know that so many people need to sh hear um, this message of hope for the, for the season of my life. So God bless you. Truly, truly seek him. Know he is with you. That's all. Just know he is with you right now. He is with you. He was with you yesterday, he was he's with you today, he will be with you tomorrow. And if you don't know him yet, this is my encouragement to you is 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 God is good, God is real. 
and if you actually seek him with all your heart that's what it says if you seek him with all your heart you will find him if you're seeking hoping not to find you're not but if you seek him with all your heart you're gonna find him and there's nothing better than having the Lord Jesus Christ in your life and that's what I hope you can find if you haven't found him yet that you do find him and you know plug into a church ask him in your room right now are you real show me I need to know because I want to have that type of hope through the worst of times all righty that's it for my TED talk the view just keeps getting better my goodness Addie's up now so we're gonna get breakfast yay I did drink my coffee though Sí, me acuerdo de ti. <laughs> Trying to make a tripod so we can record a reel. We finally have our tickets to our next destination. We have a couple hours before we have to head to the airport and we're still in Montmartre. So we we're thinking what else we can do. We've already been to Take Your Heart like three times. So what else is there that we haven't seen yet? We have seen a lot because you can really see a lot just by walking around. And then I remembered the wall of Je T'aime, the wall of I love you's. It is a wall that um, has more than, I think it's 300, if not more um, languages slash tongues um, and dialects. And they all say I love you in each of those different tongues. Um, it was an artist. Thank you. It was an artist who just started asking people that were local and then it expanded to something much larger. So all of these tiles say, I love you in a bunch of different languages. Part of this content creation exchange is that she's teaching me how to pose because I don't know squat. I just look like I'm squatting. That's pretty much it. Do you it. guys matter so, grease? So uh, yeah, I'm trying to get her to teach me. Do you guys matter agree? This is a good picture. Good pose. It's out of your comfort zone. Yeah, absolutely. Really I'm already good. wearing something out of my comfort exactly. zone. I just, you I don't know. You have to rock it with a good pose. Oh my God. Okay, I just wanted to record this. I feel like I 100% look like I'm squatting to poop. I love it. Okay. What do you think? What do you guys think? <laughs> I feel like this is what it would be like to get to a very old and happy age. I want to be her. One last hurrah. That's Sacred Heart. We made it up all those flights of stairs. So, know this. When you stay at the first Airbnb, there's like two blocks of walking. If you stay at the second hotel, which is also very nice, it has that magnificent view. There's like a huge flight of stairs. So just be prepared for that. I keep saying goodbye to Paris, but it's never the end. We're back here. I thought we weren't gonna be back here, but we're back here. So, and with the view of Paris, and with the company of a friend, I guess I have to go shopping when we go to... Should we tell them? No. Not yet? Not yet. Let's, okay. let's make a surprise and just show them. Okay. So I guess you have to tune in to the next video to see where we go. There is also this thing called the Sinking House of France. It's an optical illusion. Um, literally right next to Sacred Heart. So if you are facing Paris, Paris is right there. Sacred Heart is behind you and you're walking, so if you're facing Paris, no, you're facing Sacred Heart, and you walk to the right, this is what happens. There's this building right here that photographers photograph, but they photograph it like this to where it looks like it's a sinking house. It looks like this is our final trip to an airport in France for the time being. Um, I wanted to note one thing that you need to be aware of, the travel time. So when Addie checked the Uber last night, it said 20 minutes? I think it was 30 minutes. 30 minutes to the airport, to Orly Airport. And right now it's an hour. So 
distances are short but traffic is very tight and it can take up to an hour to get anywhere um, from our experience on this trip it's kind of like Mexico City Mexico City is the same the distance is like one mile if you walk there it might be 20 minutes if you drive there it might be an hour that's exactly what it's been like for us if you we walk somewhere it might be a 20 minute walk a few miles but a 20 minute walk or we uber and take an hour to get there so you know it's a pick your poison type of scenario but